Yes. Now we'll discuss about the wall of the thorax. Here you can see this is wall of thorax. If you cut a section at this level, a small piece of this thoracic wall is removed from here, then you will see This is lung. This is lung. This lung is covered by pleura. This pleura is visceral pleura. This is visceral pleura which covers the surface of the lung. This is visceral pleura. Pleura. Then there is here is this is parietal pleura. which is ad adherent with the endothoracic fascia. This fascia is Indothoracic fascia. This is endothoracic fascia. So here you can see this is endothoracic fascia. Fascia. And here is Deep to just deep to this, there is parietal pleura. This is parietal pleura. And there is visceral pleura. There is lung. In between the parietal pleura and visceral pleura, there is space. This is known as pleural space or pleural cavity. Then, another layer is. This is a rib and here is this is There is the skin, there is fascia, so this outermost structure is skin, this is skin, then there is fascia, skin then there is superficial fascia this is superficial fascia then there is deep fascia this is deep fascia this is deep fascia here is rib this is a rib this is one rib and another rib lies here And the rib. Here 
here are some muscles here in this side there is attachment of muscle this is serratus anterior muscle this muscle is serratus anterior so this is serratus anterior serratus anterior muscle so this muscle is serratus anterior muscle attached with the rib this is upper rib this is lower rib between these ribs there are muscles external intercostal here are internal intercostal and here is transversus thoracis muscle and here is a vein artery and there is nerve this is three structures vein artery and nerve is present in intercostal space so between two adhesive ribs there is a space known as intercostal space this space is filled with the external intercostal muscle internal intercostal muscle and transversus thoracis muscle between internal intercostal and transversus thoracic muscle there is a neurovascular bundle relation of structure in neurovascular bundle vein uppermost then artery then nerve these are intercostal vein intercostal artery and intercostal nerves so here you can see so this is arrangement skin superficial fascia deep fascia then extensive muscle this serratus anterior muscle this is extensive muscle of thoracic region in thoracic region there are several intrinsic muscle the muscles of the upper limb pectoris major minus minor serratus anterior and back side rhombus major minor latissimus dorsi there are several muscles of the upper limb and also rectus abdominis external oblique muscle and on back side there is erector spinae muscle so these muscles are muscles of the extensive group of the muscle in thoracic region and here this intercostal muscle between two adjacent ribs there is space this is intercostal space and here these three groups of the muscle extensor uh, external intercostal internal intercostal and transversus thoracis transversus thoracis has three muscles we will discuss later so these structures are the intrinsic muscle so wall of thorax basically in this region we will discuss about the intrinsic muscles and structures these are vein artery now that that are uh, intercostal vessels and intercostal muscles especially these structures we will discuss these structures deep to this there is endothoracic fascia then parietal pleura then pleural space then visceral pleura then there is a lung so these are relations these are structures from outer side from skin to lung this is the arrangement of the structures in the thoracic region and we will discuss only this intercostal spaces if you see in a other two dimensional diagram simple diagram you will find there is skin outermost structure then there is superficial fascia then there is deep fascia then there is a group of muscles this muscle may be any muscles of the which is attached to this region this is muscle 
then there is drips and here you will find several muscles they are external intercostal and internal intercostal and transversus thoracis then there is a endothoracic fascia this is endothoracic fascia then there is parietal pleura this is attached with this then there is a visceral pleura this is visceral pleura then there is lung here is lung tissue So this is structure from outer side to inner side in simplest way. In case of pleural effusion, this pleural fluid is collected here, this side. From passing to this side, the needle is inserted, which passes through lower through the lower part of the intercostal space because in upper part of the space there is vein, artery and nerve. This is neurovascular bundle which lies upper part of the intercostal space. This lower part of the space is completely safe. So it is inserted from here this part for the removal of the this fluid in case of pleural effusion so this is clinically important here neurovascular bundle are present if needle is inserted from here in upper part of this intercostal space then this nerve or vessels may be injured. So this is all about the wall of thorax part 1. This is part 1. Thank you.